Coming up on Hands on Tech, I am going to show you my favorite dock for the Mac. It's the CalDigit Thunderbolt Station 3 Plus, and it is incredible. Hands on Tech is brought to you from Twit's LastPass Studios. Access everything you need online simply and securely wherever you're logging in from. LastPass makes security for your digital life effortless. Visit lastpass.com slash twit. This is Twit. This episode of Hands On Tech is brought to you by Molecule. Molecule is reimagining the future with clean air. For 10% off your first air purifier order, visit molecule.com and enter code HOT. Folks, for the longest time, I have been looking for a way to make my MacBook Pro the perfect desktop setup. See, I need something that lets me be mobile when I need it, which the MacBook Pro does, but something that lets me simply plug in and get rolling whenever I am using my MacBook Pro as a desktop computer. And right now, I am doing all of that and more with the CalDigit Thunderbolt Station 3 Plus, or as it's called, uh, sort of shorthand, CalDigit TS3 Plus. There are loads of different docks out there that claim that you can simply plug one cord into your MacBook Pro and run everything from the dock itself. Your displays, your USB peripherals, your audio, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But the problem is I've never found anything that actually can do that. I always end up having to plug some things in directly to my MacBook Pro in order for the system to work. There's always some issue with connectivity or it seems like it's pulling too much from the uh, dock and so it needs power routed directly directly to the MacBook Pro, whatever it happens to be, something always seems to be an issue. And I've never found something that actually lets me just go, boop, plug in one cord and have everything work until now. The CalDigit TS3 Plus genuinely works as it says it does. Right now, I have one cord plugged into my MacBook Pro. My MacBook Pro is charging. Well, it's fully charged at this point. And it is connected to a USB for this camera that I have plugged in, a USB for another camera I have plugged in, USB for my XLR interface for my microphone. It's got a plug-in for my uh, monitor as one setup and a plug-in for my monitor as the other setup. There are so many things plugged in right now. It's kind of ridiculous. I've also got an SD card that's plugged in and easily accessible. I've got gigabit ethernet plugged in and it's working perfectly, blazing fast. I've got so much plugged into this CalDigit dock and one cord is doing it all to my MacBook Pro. It's ridiculous. As CalDigit notes, there are 15 ports on this device. You have a, an SD card slot that works for multiple types of SD cards, audio in and out, a USB-C 3.1 generation one port. This is something important to note. There are different forms of USB-C generations and with those come faster or slower speeds. So on the front of the device, you have some slower ports, USB-A 3.1 gen one. This means that you get up to five gig bits per second of transfer. So a little bit slower than the newer generations of USB ports, but you get both a USB-A and a USB-C on the front, which is fantastic. You definitely want to have one of each there. On the back is the gigabit ethernet, a digital optical port, a USB-C 3.1 Gen 2 port, and then multiple one, two, three, four USB-A 3.1 Gen 1 ports, the power cord itself, DisplayPort 1.2, Thunderbolt 3 downstream, and the Thunderbolt 3 upstream or host with up to 85 watt charging. So what does all that mean? Well, you get one port on the back that is USB and does 10 gigabits per second transfer of data and then you get four USB, USB-A ports that all offer five gigabits per second of transfer. You get a downstream port for Thunderbolt 3, meaning that you can route other Thunderbolt devices to your setup. And then of course, the Thunderbolt port on the back that goes to your Mac to provide charging for that. 
Now, it's worth noting that this is not just for Mac. I am currently using it for my Mac, but it is also available to be used with a PC. It is incredible how much I am able to connect to this thing and have it actually work with my MacBook Pro. So now get this in your mind and think about, you know, this device, a device that has 15 ports and pumps out that much power. You're probably thinking it's pretty big. Well, fact is, it is not. It is a tiny and beautiful device. I have to say that it is beautiful. It is actually good looking and it sits so small on my desk. So in total, that means seven USB ports that you can you can connect uh, USB hubs to if you want to create even more USB spots, as well as charging a laptop up to 85 watts of power into your MacBook Pro. And you can count on dual 4K 60 hertz monitors. Yes. So if you had monitors and you were wondering, OK, can I just do 1080p? Can I do full 4K? What are we working with here? Yeah, you're not only getting the ability to do two 4K monitors, but you're getting the ability to do two 4K monitors at 60 hertz each. This is a system for a pro and it genuinely works as is instructed. This episode of Hands on Tech is brought to you by Molecule. Molecule is not just innovation on existing technology, but a scientific breakthrough in air purification. Molecule air purifiers destroy pollutants, including viruses, bacteria, mold, and chemicals in the air. Molecule's technology and filtration systems have been tested and verified by third-party labs for the whole home and beyond. For 10% off your first air purifier order, visit Molecule.com and enter code HOT at checkout. That's M-O-L-E-K-U-L-E dot com, code HOT. Now, it's worth noting that uh, CalDigit does occasionally come out with firmware updates and things like that. Uh, so you are going to want to make sure that you have the latest and greatest software. You can head to CalDigit's website and it has information for where you get that uh, stuff as well. And in fact, when I first got my CalDigit TS3 Plus, the first thing I did was go to the website and download a tool that makes it possible to install new firmware updates when they're available. This is a Thunderbolt device, meaning that if you open the system profile on your computer, on your Mac, if you're using a Mac, then you can see very clearly that it is listed as a Thunderbolt 3, a Thunderbolt 3 device and not a USB-C device. So if it's showing up in your system as a USB-C instead of Thunderbolt 3 device, then it's likely that you do not have the latest firmware update to make it work as a Thunderbolt 3 device. And you're going to want to get that because that's going to give you the most power uh, and, and application available. Now, with all of that, that means that you are truly getting a Thunderbolt connection to your MacBook Pro or Mac or whatever device you might have. And that also means that the other three or two, depending on what you have, or one, uh, Thunderbolt ports are able to be used as you need them. If you do need them, I found that I do not. So I can simply unplug one port, close my MacBook Pro and walk away and go do the things that I need to do, come back, plug it in, and everything starts up and everything's available. I can't tell you enough how incredible it is. And the other thing, of course, that you need to know is that this is not a sort of passive hub. The fact that it can charge your MacBook Pro means that it itself needs power. And so it does come with a power port that you plug into the wall uh, and then you can have that connection. Another thing that you should note, of course, is that it comes with the necessary power brick and cable so that you can plug in your Cal digit TS3 plus and it comes with a wonderful Thunderbolt 3 cord in the box so you don't have to supply your own cord or anything like that it comes with it in the box and it is a really nice cord it's flexible uh, it also comes with these two rubber strips so that you can set the Thunderbolt 3 dock on its side as opposed to standing straight up so you have two sort of um, ways to to two configurations to go about using the CalDigit TS3 Plus. Uh, you will need Mac OS 10.12 or later or Windows 10 or 10 or later. So either Mac OS or Windows will work with this device and it <laughs> it sings, folks, it soars. It is pretty doggone incredible easily my most favorite purchase I've ever made for the Mac. That's the CalDigit. TS3 Plus. 
Folks, thank you for tuning in to another episode of Hands On Tech. If you want more of me, well, you can check out Hands On iOS. That's twit.tv slash HOI or twit.tv slash iOS to check out iOS today. I'm on several shows. Those are two that you can check out. Uh, we do appreciate you tuning in. Please do make sure to hit that subscribe button. If you're checking this page out on YouTube, you can hit subscribe. You can hit like on the video. You can hit that little bell so you're notified when new videos are posted or head to twit.tv slash HOT. And that will give you subscriptions to the show in all of its formats. Thanks for tuning in and we'll catch you next time. Keep up with all the hottest tech news and gadgets. Visit twit.tv. There you'll be able to find and subscribe to all our tech shows. Thanks for watching. Hands on tech.